Hey again, everybody. Now, in one of my previous videos, I asked you which one of my door banners you preferred, and it seems like most of you like the, this beware sign. However, you know, nobody likes the stringy mesh mess that it came with, which looks nothing like it does in the picture, which is very disappointing. So a lot of you had suggested that we use some creepy cloth to just change the look of this draping fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna try and make it look as close as possible to this, um, you know, the picture on, on the packaging. I'm not sure it's gonna come anywhere close, but we'll give it a shot. First, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint um, some of the mesh black. I think it would actually work a little better um, if I had paint to splatter on it because it has this very splatter effect. Um, but that's a little too much effort for me. I don't have time for that. So I'm going to just sort of give it a light spray with some black spray paint and then we'll try and put some creepy cloth on it, see if we can make it look a little bit better. All right, a quick spray with just this matte black cheap spray paint from Walmart and already it is looking much, much better. I would almost actually be happy just leaving it like this. Um, Spraying it with the black really brings out the red. It looks so much better. I'm actually quite happy. It does not, however, have the thickness of the packaging. This, I counted, had 12 strands. The packaging shows it with way more than that. So just to see what it would look like, let's go ahead and bulk it up with the creepy cloth just to see if it looks any better. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this sign over. It is very flimsy cardboard, very cheap. So basically all I'm gonna do is take my bag of spare creepy cloth and some duct tape and uh, let's just start assembling. I'm not sure, we've got a couple of different shades of this creepy cloth color, um, like a dark gray or a light gray or black and I would almost want to mix them up, but that's going to be way too much effort. So I think I'm going to go with the dark gray. The light gray looks nice, but it's very similar to my now spray painted black sort of one that exists already. And I think black's just going to be too dark. So we have, let's see, is that the same color? Close, but not quite. Um, hmm. I tend to use that dark gray color in a lot of things. So I've already put out so much of the stuff. I like to basically cover my um, pictures around the house with creepy cloth um, and table surfaces and so forth. You know what? I'm getting pretty low on the dark gray, it looks like. So we might just have to make do with this. It's starting to look a little ragged anyway, so maybe this is a good project for it. All right. I cannot tell you how much money I've invested in creepy cloth over the years. It's crazy. Put that away too. All right, so we have a few of these. Let's see here. Okay, there's three here. That's good. Hmm. All right, let's just go ahead and unravel. This one looks like it has been well used over the years. I'm not sure that's going to do too well with this. In fact, how much can I get out of this? I think I am going to probably, let's just sort of creep that over. I think I can probably use two of these. Move my skulls over there. All right, I think, you know what? Let's just kind of bunch this up a little bit here. This might be a little harder than I thought thought because um, I don't know how well this duct tape because this is cheap dollar store duct tape so you know it's going to just be awful I've tried using their packing tape in the past that's about the worst thing ever you cannot get it to um, peel off without ripping into shreds constantly so I don't expect too much of this duct tape either but that's what I had on hand. Ugh, these clearly don't match. They're different shades. This one, all right. I really like this one. It seems like it's in good shape, but it just doesn't match enough. So I'm gonna use this one. At least it's well worn. So let's go ahead and 
let it spread out just a little bit. And since this one seems to be bunched up on the side, let this one have a little more space. Maybe not. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and just duct tape this in place and see what happens. Now, let's see. Hmm. I think, is this the end? <laughs> All right. Found the end, so that's at least a positive start. Hey, oops. okay, so at least we got a little bit of a strip and it rips off, so yay for that. Let's just go ahead and duct tape that on. And a little bit, little bit more on the side here. Try and bring it over close to the edge. All right, halfway done. All right, string starting to break everywhere. Uh oh. All right, well, let's just throw that piece away. All right, let's try this again. A little more careful this time. All right. One more. I think that should hold it. I mean, this stuff weighs almost nothing, but to be safe, I'm gonna put one more big strip on. Just to be extra secure. Now we need to shred this into strips, but you know what? It's probably gonna be easier to do that if it's hanging up. So let me go back downstairs. It is time to cut the creepy cloth. Now I brought the sign down, I hung it back up, so that should make our job easier. One thing I did notice when I brought the sign down, however, was that and this is the problem when you reuse your creepy cloth from year to year. You can't remember what you've done to everything. And I'd actually cut that piece of creepy cloth that I had, um, and it was much shorter than the other one. So I ended up having to replace it with another piece of creepy cloth, the other one that I was considering. So they are not quite matching, but I'm hoping nobody's going to notice. And if they do, I just don't care at this point. So it is what it is. Let's see if we can make it look a little bit better with our scissors. Now, if you can see, I know it's probably hard with the new creepy cloth background. Um, these strands here kind of form an arch shape. So I think I'm going to keep that with the creepy cloth. Um, but I am just going to, uh, hold on. I'm going to, um, I forgot what I was going to say. It's late. <laughs> I'm going to keep the strands. I'm just going to make them a little bit longer. That's what I was trying to say. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to kind of try and keep it in the same strand formation that they have going on here. And let's see what happens. Okay, I'm finished cutting the strands. I moved the camera back just a little bit so that you could see how it falls down. Now, I am not entirely sure. You know, originally, like I said, I was going to try and do the arch um, in the same fashion as you know, the existing mesh. But I actually kind of like the look of it hanging down much farther. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I might actually, you know what, let's just trim a little bit here and there just so that they're not all the same and it kind of looks a little more ragged at the bottom. And let's see, I think that kind of is all right. Uh, you know what, actually, it's kind of doing an angle here. So I'm gonna do an angle up here. Let's just cut that one off. I think maybe right about there. And now, this sort of is the inverse of that or whatever, and I don't know, it makes sense to me. <laughs> Does it make sense to you? Let me know, what do you think? Is this better than our contaminated sign that we had previously? Do you like it with the creepy cloth? Does it add, does it detract? Would you add more creepy cloth? I don't know. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I look forward to hearing from you. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for everything. Happy haunting. Take care.